Imagine booting up your computer and realizing that everything you've relied on for years suddenly feels slow, clunky, and outdated. You click through windows, tabs, and menus, and yet, despite all the years of updates and new features, something just doesn't flow the way it should. There's a subtle friction you didn't notice before. Small frustration here and there that accumulates into a constant drain on your focus. Now imagine if there was a way to erase all of that friction almost instantly, not with flashy apps or gimmicks, but with a feature so quietly powerful that it makes the operating system you've relied on feel archaic by comparison. It's not something you can buy in a store, and it's not a single app you can install. This feature has been shaping workflows and productivity in ways most people don't even realize. And once you see it in action, there's a good chance you'll wonder how you ever tolerated the old way of doing things. At first glance, it's easy to dismiss. It doesn't scream new or revolutionary. There are no banners, no splash screens, no marketing campaigns built around it. But if you dig into the daily experience of professionals, developers, and creators who rely on computers for everything from coding to design to running massive data workflows, it becomes immediately clear why this matters. The difference isn't just about speed, it's about efficiency, focus, and control. Think of it as having the power to bend the operating system to your will, instead of constantly adapting to its limitations. It's one of those things you can't fully appreciate until you've been exposed to it for hours, maybe even days, and start noticing just how much time and cognitive energy it frees up. What makes this feature so fascinating is how subtle it is. On the surface, it might look like a simple organizational tool or a minor tweak in window management. You might think, okay, another multitasking feature, big deal. But this is where most people completely underestimate it. Unlike traditional task management, which forces you to switch contexts or juggle multiple screens, this feature anticipates what you need, organizes it intelligently, and adapts dynamically as your workload changes. Imagine sitting down to a complex project and having every application, terminal, document, and reference material you need aligned perfectly, not through hours of manual setup, but automatically, almost invisibly. The way it shapes focus and minimizes mental friction is something Windows users rarely encounter without third-party tools or painstaking configuration. In practice, the impact is profound. Developers report being able to handle multiple coding environments simultaneously without losing track of which processes belong where. Designers can juggle multiple assets and tool panels without constant resizing or window hunting. Even casual users find that their daily browsing, communication, and content creation flow feels smoother, Ow. almost instinctively. There's a quiet elegance in how it integrates into the workflow. You don't feel like you're using a feature. You feel like the computer itself is responding to your needs. The implications extend beyond individual productivity. Enterprises running Linux-based systems find that teams become measurably faster at completing tasks, reducing downtime and avoiding errors caused by lost context or inefficient window management. One of the most fascinating aspects is how this feature has evolved over time. It didn't appear fully formed. It was iterated, tested, and refined through real-world use cases, often in environments that demand absolute reliability. Unlike consumer software, which prioritizes flashy graphics or marketable gimmicks, this has been honed to solve problems that matter most to professionals. Efficiency, clarity, and adaptability. There's a story behind each iteration, with subtle improvements that compound into a system that feels remarkably intuitive once you experience it. And yet, because it's deeply integrated into the operating system, most users never see the incremental refinements. They only notice the overall effect, which can feel almost magical. What's striking is how this shifts the perception of what an operating system can be. For years, Windows set the standard for desktop computing, and for a long time, alternatives felt niche or overly complex. But when you encounter this feature, that standard suddenly seems restrictive. Tasks that once required cumbersome workarounds now flow naturally. Screens and workspaces that previously demanded constant attention and rearrangement now adjust intelligently. It's like stepping into a new workspace designed for human cognition rather than a rigid interface. You start to realize that what you considered normal in computing was actually a compromise, an acceptance of inefficiency that you didn't have to live with. There's also a deeper layer that isn't immediately obvious, the effect on focus and mental load. 
Anyone who's tried to juggle multiple projects, applications, or browser windows knows how small inefficiencies add up. Every time you have to hunt for a window, resize a document, or switch contexts, your brain pays a tiny toll. Individually, these moments are trivial, but over a day or a week, they accumulate into significant cognitive fatigue. By managing and organizing these workflows dynamically, this Linux feature eliminates that toll almost entirely. Users report a mental clarity that they didn't even realize was possible, and the productivity gains are measurable. It's not just about speed, it's about reducing friction so that focus becomes effortless, almost automatic. And then there's the customization layer, which many Windows users don't fully appreciate. While Windows does allow some degree of window snapping or virtual desktops, the Linux ecosystem allows far deeper control. Power users can define behaviors, transitions, and even rules for how applications interact with each other. It's like having a personal assistant who knows exactly where each task belongs and anticipates what you'll need next. The combination of flexibility and intelligent defaults creates a system that feels alive in a subtle, almost imperceptible way. Once you experience it, going back to rigid layouts and fixed desktops feels constraining. The enterprise implications are equally compelling. In corporate environments where time literally translates into money, being able to manage multiple projects and monitor complex systems without cognitive overhead has tangible benefits. Teams working on large-scale software projects data analysis, or network operations can reduce mistakes and accelerate delivery cycles. Servers and workstations running Linux with this feature configured properly can effectively handle workloads that would otherwise require additional tools or scripts, reducing infrastructure complexity. And beyond efficiency, there's a psychological factor. Users feel in control, empowered by the system rather than frustrated by it. That shift in mindset is hard to measure but can have dramatic effects on retention, satisfaction, and overall output. What really elevates this feature is how seamlessly it integrates with other parts of the system. It's not an add-on that feels bolted on. It's woven into the operating system's behavior, from application launch to window management to workspace organization. It works quietly in the background, adapting to your usage patterns, and over time it feels like the computer is almost reading your intentions. That level of integration is something that rarely exists outside of carefully curated Linux environments, and it's a large part of why the experience feels so effortless. Users often describe it as invisible until you notice how much it improves everything, which is a rare combination in software design. Some might argue that features like this are only for power users, but the reality is different. Casual users often discover benefits almost immediately, even if they don't understand all the customization options. A student juggling research, writing, and coding might find that suddenly all of their projects are easier to track. A designer managing multiple assets can stop worrying about lost windows or accidentally closing critical files. Even someone who primarily browses the web can experience a smoother, less chaotic desktop environment. It's one of those rare tools that scales elegantly from beginner to expert without losing effectiveness. As this feature has matured, it has influenced other aspects of the Linux ecosystem as well. It encourages developers to think more about efficiency, adaptability, and user-centered design. Applications that integrate seamlessly with dynamic workspaces create a compounding effect, k enhancing productivity even further. Over time, these small but consistent improvements have created an ecosystem that feels far more coherent than what most people experience on Windows. And while Windows has made incremental improvements in multitasking and virtual desktops, the contrast becomes especially stark once you've experienced Linux's approach in depth. By now, you might be wondering what the core mechanics are that make this possible, without diving into technical jargon too early. It's enough to understand that this feature treats workspaces as living entities rather than static containers. Applications can be aware of each other, and the system can anticipate where each window should reside. There's an intelligence layer that prioritizes tasks, reduces overlap, and preserves context. It's the kind of feature that feels impossible to fully describe because it operates in subtle ways. But once experienced, its absence is immediately felt. Users frequently report that after a few days of consistent use, they notice their attention and workflow improving in ways they didn't even anticipate. This leads to an important realization. The value isn't just in the feature itself, but in how it transforms behavior. P. 
People don't just work faster, they work differently. The mental space freed by reduced friction allows for more creativity, better problem solving, and deeper engagement with complex tasks. You start to notice patterns, connect ideas, and manage projects with a fluidity that was previously impossible. It's not just a tool for efficiency, it's a cognitive enhancer. And that's why for anyone serious about maximizing their computing experience, understanding and leveraging this feature can be game-changing. The culmination of all this is that what you might have thought was a minor improvement in Linux turns out to be a fundamental shift in how humans interact with computers. When everything aligns, intelligent, window management, dynamic workspaces, seamless integration, cognitive optimization, the effect is profound. Windows, despite all its familiarity and updates, suddenly feels like a collection of compromises. Tasks that used to feel cumbersome now unfold naturally. Applications and documents feel like they belong together. Focus comes easily. Context is preserved automatically. The operating system feels like an extension of your mind, rather than a barrier you have to work around. By the time you fully grasp the implications, it's clear that this isn't just a feature, it's a new paradigm. One that has quietly reshaped workflows for millions of users worldwide, yet remains relatively unknown outside of Linux enthusiasts. The real power lies not in the individual capabilities, but in the cumulative effect, time saved. Mental energy preserved and workflows streamlined. For those willing to explore and adapt, the benefits are immediate and lasting you start to realize that the operating system you thought you knew is capable of so much more than you imagined. And in a world where every second counts, that difference can be transformative, not just for personal productivity, but for the future of work itself. After experiencing it, there's no going back. What Windows users may have taken for granted as normal suddenly feels restrictive, inefficient, and outdated. The contrast is not flashy, but it's impossible to ignore once you've seen it in action. The subtle intelligence, the fluidity, and the preservation of focus create an environment where your work is enhanced without conscious effort. And that's why, in the quiet corners of Linux workspaces, something extraordinary is happening. It's not about bells and whistles. It's about giving users something they rarely realize they're missing until they have it tanned and never want to let go. This is why, despite years of Windows dominance, many enterprises, developers, and creators are quietly shifting toward Linux. Not for the headline features or the latest flashy UI, but for a level of control, efficiency, and cognitive harmony that has no equivalent elsewhere. It's a reminder that progress isn't always about what's visible or marketed, it's about what genuinely makes work easier, smoother, and more aligned with human thought. And once you experience it, you understand why Windows suddenly feels ancient and why this feature might just define the next era of computing.